Hi, welcome to the tutorial for using Reillusion's authentic 3D features in iClone. 3D entertainment has become the new wave of the future. Whether it's Hollywood movies, video games, or YouTube videos, 3D technology has taken off, and Reillusion's along for the ride. Photo editing programs don't have the ability to produce great 3D images using an authentic 3D environment like iClone does. From making your photo albums pop to producing animation with a true 3D feel just like in the movies, the possibilities are endless with Reillusion's authentic 3D rendering capabilities. When you look at the layouts of these projects, you'll notice that the elements are all arranged at different distances on the ground. So why is distance so important? I'm going to bring up this image to illustrate the concept more clearly. The way your eyes work is something like this. Each eye receives the same image from a slightly different angle your brain correlates the images to form a single one. When you're wearing 3D glasses, the glasses are essentially only allowing certain frequencies or colors to reach your eyes. Traditional 3D images combine red and blue images at slightly different placements to simulate a 3D image when viewed with the correct equipment. 3D shades have one red lens and one blue lens. This means one eye is viewing the image in red and the other views the image in blue, like this image here. You can see the slight displacement between red and blue. This is called Anaglyph 3D, and has been used since those classic 3D monster movies were released decades ago. More modern 3D uses polarization technology, where two images are placed simultaneously on the screen, and the 3D glasses filter out those images with different polarization. iClone generates the left and right eye outputs with dual cameras in 3D space to create Anaglyph and side-by-side -side images. The first thing you need to know about rendering 3D in iClone is the convergence distance. This is the distance from your rendering camera to the focal point of your project. I'm going to bring up another image to explain this. The focal point of your project should be situated at the zero parallax plane, otherwise known as the convergence point. When you view the image in 3D, elements in front of the convergence point will pop out, while elements behind the convergence point will appear deeper into the picture. So how do you find out the distance from your camera to your convergence point in iClone? Let's open up a new project in iClone and take a look at the grid. Each section of the grid represents 100 centimeters. Keep this in mind when you're calculating the convergence distance in your 3D stereoscopic render. I'm going to drag and drop a couple of letters and a cartoon character onto the screen and arrange them at different distances from the camera, almost like if Sesame Street went 3D. Now we need to create a second camera to render from, so we can move the preview camera to determine the distance from convergence point to camera lens. Find your Reillusion cameras under the stage section, and you can either double click or drag one onto the screen. Adjust the camera to get your desired angle for the render. Here I want to make the convergence point where the character is standing, so we'll be able to see A pop out and B appear more distant. Now let's switch back to the preview camera and rotate to an overhead view to determine the distance to our convergence point using the grid. We can see here that it's about 7 meters. Keep that number in mind because you'll need it when you render the scene. Now switch back to your scene camera and click the export tab on the top of iClone. It's time to render the scene. As you can see, the modify window contains a checkbox for enable stereo vision output. Check that. Next, you want to adjust your convergence distance. If you can remember, the convergence distance in my example was about 7 meters, so I'll adjust it to that. You can also select anaglyph or side by side depending on what sort of 3D output you want. Simply click the preview button or use the F10 hotkey to see the results. Now what happens if you change the convergence distance? Let's find out. I've changed the distances between the elements slightly here for more clarity. First, I'm going to render with a convergence distance of 50 centimeters. Pretty hard to look at, right? This is because the glasses are trying to fool your eyes into thinking these close objects are really distant. Take off your glasses and notice the major displacement of red and blue on the image. We'll render once more with a convergence distance of 1000. As you can see in the sample, the B, which is approximately 1,000 centimeters away, appears much clearer than the rest.
finally, I'll render at about 445, which should be about the distance of Jimmy Toon here. That's better. Notice that if you take off your glasses, the displacement of A and B is on opposite sides of each letter. This is how Anaglyph 3D gives the impression of 3D depth. Meanwhile, Jimmy Toon's colors seem to be all in one place. Pretty cool, right? Well, it's about to get a lot cooler. Next, I'll show you how to simply drag and drop personalized or professional content onto the screen and animate it with a few easy clicks. Clicking and dragging is incredibly easy and convenient in iClone. If you right click and drag an image, you have a number of options on how to import your media. You can learn about the various importing options in other tutorials. For my purpose, I'm going to import the images as plain. Image layers are also a cool thing to use when rendering in 3D. Image layers will always appear closest to the camera, and therefore will pop out when the scene is rendered. I'm going to add a customized image layer here. You can also change the opacity of the image layer in the modify menu to the right for an even cooler semi-transparent effect. I'm also going to quickly add a background to add even more depth to my 3D render. Now let's render the scene again. As you can see, the results look great in 3D. Let's add one final element so you can see how Reillusion's authentic 3D really shines. Animation. You can learn more about animation in iClone from our tutorials. But here are some examples of 3D animation in action. This camera flyby shows how iClone's authentic 3D can really add depth to your animation. The possibilities are endless. You can make a 3D video such as this. It can be used in a sports broadcast or in many other ways. You can easily make brochures or other promotional or commercial material with 3D images like this one. Finally, this video shows a much more vivid example of the true potential of iClone's authentic 3D. And there you have it. Producing authentic 3D images and videos in iClone is as easy as clicking and dragging. This could be used for displaying artist portfolios, personal photo collections, anything you put your mind to. The possibilities are endless. Now go out there and be creative!